tribesmen. Some said he was too short to be a warrior, but he was strong and fierce. His chieftain sent him to the dwarves of Orzammar to negotiate an alliance, where he fell in love with the king's daughter, Skya, and brought her back to his tribe. She taught Lathias to use the dwarven battle wrath to summon his strength and ignore all pain. Lathias then taught this to the clan who made him their chieftain. Lathias' prowess earned him the love of Morrigan, a beautiful chieftain of another tribe. When Skaia learned of his seduction, she returned to her people. Lathias was grieved. He sent Morrigan away, but this only vexed her and began a long war between their tribes. In the end, Lathias slew Morrigan in single combat. However, his wounds were great and he perished when the rage ended. The dwarves came from Orzammar that day and gave Lathias an honored burial in the mountains. And we live by his teachings even today. It was an honor. To scout the wilds and watch the progression of the dark spawn horde. With luck, we'll find and slaughter many stragglers. The hunt will be good if my hound survives the blood of his prey. If he dies, I shall mourn tonight. They you sent to distinguish us from our enemies, but the blood of battle can confuse them. So we paint ourselves with Cadiz, which overpowers the blood, and also paint our hounds so they know we are the same. I am no bard, but I will do my best. Lathias was a clan. She taught Lathias to use the dwarven battle wrath to summon his strength and ignore all pain. They were simply the first to be taught. Others were inspired by his death to follow his path. Lathias' prowess earned him the love of Morrigana, a beautiful chieftain of another tribe. When Skaia learned of his seduction, she returned to her people. In the, the dwarves came from Orzammar that day and gave Lathias an honored... It was an honor. My thanks. There is hunting to be done, and I'll not be kept from it. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. I suppose I do, though he's spending most of his time with the Grey Wardens. He rides with them wherever they go, in fact. Terran Loghain sees the King whenever he can and argues with him over coming battles, but the King just waves him off. The King wants to end the Blight with a single huge battle the Bards will sing of for centuries. Do you think that's possible? That's how the Terran feels. He'll do what the King wants in the end, though. The King thought it was funny the Terran called him reckless, and they fought about the Queen. More than usual lately. Good thing the Terran's the only one who can speak to the King like that. As you wish. You approach the tent of Terran Loghain. State your business. How can you not know of Loghain? He helped free Ferelden. He was the brains behind King Marek's armies and drove out those damned Orlesians. King Marek rewarded him by making him a Tern. Can you imagine? A commoner became a high nobleman just like that. Without Loghain, you can bet the King wouldn't be winning against these Darkspawn. He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activity. I suppose you have a message for him. Hold on, then. Yes, what is it? Oh, you're Duncan's new Grey Warden, I assume. 
Kalen's fascination with the Wardens goes beyond the ordinary. Are you aware his father brought your order back to Ferelden? Marek respected the Grey Wardens. They have an honored place in the hearts of our people. But Marek would have understood that it takes more than legends to win a battle. That's not an argument I'll repeat here. I hear you're from the Circle of Magi. The first Enchanter spoke highly of you. A great achievement for one so young. I don't suppose you'll be riding into the thick of battle with the rest of your fellows, will you? Here for the glory, huh? Fair enough. Now I must return to my task. Pray that our king proves amenable to wisdom, if you're the praying sort. He is Marek's son, and the leader of my beloved Ferelden, and a very young man. I try to keep that in mind, as should you. I suspect you are one of the new Grey Wardens. Will you accept the Maker's blessing? Then I bless you, Grey Warden, in the name of Andraste and the Maker above. May the chant of light carry your name to the ears of our Lord. I look forward to the morning's glorious battle. The Maker will smile. I'm sure. My belly thanks you. At least if I'm hanged, I'll have a little weight on me. You... you need to convince them. We've got to run. The Darkspawn are coming. The Grey Wardens will die. The King will die. We'll all die. I apologize, Warden. He's been like this ever since they found him in the wilds. Aside from his wounds, we're not sure. His blood is untainted. He's just... terrified. You... you can feel it, can't you? They taint the land, turn it black and sick. Oh, you can feel it inside. They'll come out of that forest and spread, like caterpillars covering a tree. They'll swallow us whole. Uh, that's quite enough out of you. You need to calm yourself, my good man. They were everywhere. I saw them. It. I can feel it inside me. I apologize if the soldier disturbed you. Ever since they found him in the wilds, he's been like this. It's so sad. You got your food and water. Now off with you. You're one of Duncan's new recruits, correct? I can't let you through to the Korkari Wilds until he gives the word. Sorry, I have my orders. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage.